Fox News Randy Wimley joining us live on why this has become such a controversial issue. Randy? Well, guys, everyone wants the same thing, and that's a safer Detroit, but it's just that people disagree on how to make that happen. While some would argue that ShotSpotter is invasive and ineffective, others would argue that it has gotten some results, and the city could use all the help it can get. I was shot uh, four in the back, three in the leg. Uh, one is here. Terrence Pope knows the one bitter reality of gun violence uh, all too well, is, uh, and he's one of there. many in support of Detroit investing in technology like ShotSpotter to address it. I think that it will help decrease the criminal rate. I think that it will be a lot more effective, that police will be able to respond a lot more effective. What brings us here is to have a discussion. Detroit Police Commissioner Willie Burton convened a public forum on ShotSpotter, which picks up and pinpoints the sound of gunfire, allowing police to respond faster. Mayor Mike Duggan says it would have been a game changer when a gunman went on a rampage nearly two weeks ago randomly shooting four people and killing three of them. Had the Detroit Police Department had a shot spotter notice at 445 on a Sunday morning, a mile and a half from the 12th precinct, police officers would have been on that site immediately at a time where the police had the advantage. Right now, Detroit has two shot spotter units, one on the east and west sides of the city. Council members are considering spending roughly $7 million on more units, expanding the program citywide. Critics say that money could be better spent. If we're serious about public safety in our community, we should be attacking the root causes and doing things like keeping people in their homes with those millions of dollars is a way more effective use of money than following the path of cities like Chicago that have spent tens of millions of dollars on shot spotter technology and their own inspector generals conclude that it yields no results. DPD says shot spotter areas have less gun crimes. But Peter Rhodes, policy analyst for Councilwoman Angela Whitfield Calloway, says the shot spotter on the city's west side has only led to 21 arrests out of more than 1,300 police runs from March 2021 to July of 2022. So that's a less than a 2% success rate on shot spotter out of that precinct. Here. And that is why. Detroit City Council Member Angela Whitfield Calloway will be voting no on ShotSpotter because that $7 million could be used for other things. This has been a pattern with the city of Detroit, and it's, I think it's because they feel the need to show they're doing something, and people like technology. But this is technology that has been shown time and time and time again, in city after city, to be an expensive boom -bottom. Once you invest money into these uh, other things in the city, you can't live comfortably if the crime rate is up. Terrence Pope was left paralyzed after he was shot seven times 11 years ago. He says DPD's quick response is the only reason he's alive today. And if more shot spotter units were erected across the city, cops could better respond to shootings, solve more cases, and maybe save more lives. I've lost a lot of friends that murder uh, cases still haven't been solved. Um, guys still um, found in vacant homes and guys found in vacant uh, fields, you know, dead. And because I believe that we didn't have uh, the police didn't arrive or may not heard the gunshots and had to find the bodies two, three weeks later. Now, City Council's Public Health and Safety Committee meets on Monday, and it could recommend to the full council to take up this issue to vote on expanding ShotSpotter on Tuesday.